Hey there, Kuro here. Let's talk Murabi Today episode 9. Not much happened, just the setting for the next couple of episodes, I guess. They are on the road for the school trip, playing cards, and the cards have the past heroes' images, of course. Like Art says, they seem more embellished than the real heroes. I assumed that Verda would be like a crazy scientist, and Lydia here was a battle maniac. We already know, but on the card, they depict her as a lady with a flower. <laughs> I don't know where she hit those ears, though. She looks more human on the card. So something weird happens. I thought that they had entered a barrier or something more common. Nope, they time traveled. I like this part where the girls are screaming while falling. And Art is like, yeah, we're falling. <laughs> I don't know why this god wanted them to do something, but okay, plot. So they get transported to the past. This part is also funny. They are talking about what to do or where to go. Meanwhile, Arad is getting hit with the plot from both sides. And here there is someone running from a giant scorpion. And never mind that they are in the past and interfering is not a great idea. But yeah, that's the first thing they do. I hope when they come back to the future, the future is still there. But okay, so they meet Olivia. They get recruited for their army, but they want to be under Verda, who manages the supply lines and the research. One might think that they are safer there than in the front lines. Yeah, nope. As soon as they reach the lab, it explodes. <laughs> so yeah, that's the crazy scientist Verda. I knew it would be something like that, but... I wasn't expecting uh, it would be a lolly, kind of. And of course, it would be a little crazy, but I like it. <laughs> and there they meet this Maho Shoujo, and the girls think, who is this lost kid? Well, that's Verda, <laughs> one of the Egyptian gods. Okay, no, but I like the character. Also, the VA was pretty good. I like it. They talk a little about why they are there whatever, whatever. And Sylphie comes, the past Sylphie. I like how Verda fools around with her. Sylphie can catch her. And then, of course, Lydia is there too. And I thought, she's gonna act all majestic or she gonna act like a battle maniac. Well, at first, she acted like a Yakuza, at least the stereotype. And then, like a more cultured person, if you know what I mean. It might have had some funny parts, but when she's all serious and she sees Ginny's opai, <laughs> her face lights up like a kid on a candy store. That's, uh, I don't know, for me, it was dumb. I think it takes away from the character. You could have done everything the same, except take out that face that she does, and it would have been better, for me at least. But what do I know? I just watch anime. So she starts hitting on Ginny. Drooling, hugging, grabbing. <laughs> okay, hero image crashed. Also, that voice she makes, not good. What I'm trying to say here is I don't mind what she does. It's kind of funny, but it's just that for me, it doesn't come off as the, let's say, lovable perv. Like, I don't know, Master Roshi. She comes off as silly or dumb. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think they can leave the same traits and actions but present them differently to make it better. Again, what do I know? So she gets in a fight with Ard. I think he should have seen the sand coming. There is no way to grab the sand in front of him and not notice it, especially if he's used to her tactics. I like it though. Use what you have. The head to the fist was nice too. <laughs> Take that Ard. Nice angle here too. And of course, they end it with the first punch to the faces. And now that they are pals, Ard asks for an audience with himself, <laughs> but he knows he wouldn't care to receive them, so he might have to accomplish a couple of things before getting the audience. And that's it. Funny how here she looks like a serious person, here like a kawaii lady, here like a cheerful friend, but we can never unsee her like this. It's like... People knew her like the hero, a lady even, but we all knew she was 
kind of like a tomboy who liked to rush into battle. The fun was going to be the other characters knowing her true personality. And then we also got to see her real, real personality that she's quite pervy too. For now, I guess I like Verda a little more. She's funnier. So, not bad. A lot of exposition though. Also going from point A to B to C. And a little fight at the end to wake you up. Looking forward to some action next episode. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, a comment if you want. And see you in the next one.